Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God, back with you with the next video on my NBA 2K23 playlist. Without further ado, continuing NBA oh, 2K23. Got questions for me. Whoa, 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 take it easy, Nate. Look, you about to jump out of your seat. What's up, brother? Well, how do you respond to the reports that Athela Akben is not hanging up the phone and other teams ask about your availability, man? Okay, how do I put this? Everyone has a job on the team, and Athela's job is to explore every option to improve the roster. But wait, you don't think that you've earned a reprieve from trade talks with your recent play? No, I mean, not really. I mean, people are gonna ask about you if you're playing well. That just comes with the territory, bro. I mean, but there are stars in this league that are off the table without question. Okay, Right and? now, you're not one of them. Oh, okay. Listen, fam, I don't compare myself to other people like that. If my team is winning, I'm good. So that's what I'm all about. That's it. I don't listen to all that outside noise and chatter. Uh, seems like we're done here, huh? All right, see you guys later. Welcome to the Jackson Nellis Show. We got a special guest today, ladies and gentlemen, Freddie Novak. How you doing, brother? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Jackson. <laughs> so talk to me about teaming ratings. They're all over the state of the team report you just released. They sure are. Well, listen, I'm not a stats guy by trade, but I am a data guy. So I think I can explain things without making too many mistakes. Hmm. Talk to me like I have no idea about this stuff, which should be easy because I don't. <laughs> Okay, well, listen, Teammate Grades, which was designed by our absolutely phenomenal analytics department, is an all-in-one proprietary metric that takes into account everything a player does on the court, grades his performance on a scale of F to A+, plus to tell you exactly how much that player contributed to winning. Oh, sounds like something Nerva come up with to get a job. Yeah, well, it's actually really fascinating, Jackson, and it routinely uncovers insightful information. Do you want to hear an interesting finding? I want to sleep here, Freddy, so yeah, please. Okay, well listen, we calculate teammate grades for every player in the league, not just players on our own team, and it turns out that MP grades out as one of the most effective rookies in his class, bettering some pretty big names. Better than who? Jeff Owens, for one. <laughs> Hold on. No offense, Rick, but um... If that metric says that MP is better than Chef Owens, boy, you're going to have to throw it in the trash, light it on fire, and throw that trash off a cliff. <laughs> well, look, as someone with a scientific worldview, I appreciate a skeptic, Jackson. <laughs> but while our findings might be surprising, we stand behind them 100%, and we feel confident that public perception will eventually catch up to our cutting-edge analysis. Mm-hmm. Public perception might just stay where it is, knowing the fact that Chef Owens is better than MP. Only time will tell. Hmm. God it will. Well, look, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but it has been a great time having you as a guest, and you are even a better sport. Well, thanks for having me, Jackson. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> you got it, Freddy. about to tear the roof off. It's a game against the Clippers. And of course we are on a huge win streak. So... around the NBA on Thanksgiving Eve. 
A great lead in to a big weekend of basketball. And BA, we have so much. Changes here for the Warriors. White comes in for Green. And it's Poole in for Klay Thompson. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Zubac checked in. And so in the game for Los Angeles. The two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. It's Batum at the power forward with Zubac at center. Oh, what a pass. And Westbrook in at the point. I'll tell you what. I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Misses off the left iron. The Warriors trailing. And we're about three minutes into this first no, quarter. Stephen Curry. And he makes it. What we do know about Steph Curry, he can score from all three levels and do it with efficiency. Leonard against Wiggins. Zubox screen. Here's Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Pass to Wiggins. To the inside. Here's White. The kick out, Curry. And it's going to be a three-second call. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for the Warriors. Powell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. The Clippers have got six of ten attempts to fall. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. George has gone one for three on the night. Poole, the pass to White. Crops in the layup for two. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Ridiculous player efficiency rating. Completely unrealistic. You played for the Clippers. Like if you have 30, you might be MVP. We have like 90. CP3 all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for LA. It's good. White's gotten a second bucket on the night. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. George, a screen on pool. Batum outside to the paint. Here's George. Pass to Zubac. Stolen by Wiggins. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Pool left side. Ooh, stolen Horrible. by Westbrook. And Here Westbrook. We one on one. Will he accelerate? Here's Zubats. He's guarded by White. George against Wiggins. Zubats with a screen on Wiggins. Here's George. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. White, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. Peyton comes in for DiVincenzo. And it's Poole in for Curry. Batum is checked in for the Clippers. Leonard comes in for Covington. Here's Leonard. It's wide right, hits off the rim. And I don't understand. Why is he going to the fadeaway? Just go straight up with it. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Kawhi Leonard out there with Nicholas Batum. Then it's Terrence Mann. Then it's Norman Powell. And it's Highland in its shooting guard. Here's White. And he drops in the layup off the glass. White's got six. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Huh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's Leonard. It's rebounded by Golden State. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. And they double up MP. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Looney passes to Poole to the middle. And stolen by Leonard. And it's the Clippers on the break. And the oh, no, 
Bad Incredible call for pass. Kawhi picks it up with the claw, then off to the races. And Kawhi Leonard. No, oh, bad. Another bad call. Not good. This is unlike me. I've got to settle down and just, you know, play good, Sydney play good NBA. And a young Dennis Rodman. All right, let's get a report good from Alex. Good Good Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, nice. I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and hoop and give it everything I've got. And, guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Allie. Thank you. Powell with it. And Looney picks him up defensively. Leonard for three. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got five rebounds in the game. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. White can't hit. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Leonard against Poole. Leonard outside. Six on the shot clock. Batum sets a screen. And the Clippers miss again. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Inside. Here's White. Uses the glass to finish the layup. White's gotten four this quarter. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they're... The Clippers... 26. Well, looking at the Warriors, they've been in. And now let's look back on that first half of play, one that that does it for halftime. gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Four changes. White, he's checked in for Draymond Green. DiVincenzo comes in for Thompson. And it's Poole in for Stephen Curry. We've got Dante DiVincenzo. Green out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then it's MP, and it's Poole in at the point guard position. That's the Warriors five. George finds Westbrook. To the inside, Zubats. Oh, MP with a block. Pass to DiVincenzo. Oh, nice finish from the block. That one's good. And the Warriors lead by seven. The Clippers have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Covington, a screen on DiVincenzo. Fires for three. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got five rebounds tonight. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. George with a steal. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Here's Westbrook. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. Nice job by Russ. Attacking the interior. Hunting down a high percentage look. Poole, the pass to White. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Westbrook. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. And yes, Westbrook can find points from anywhere. He just needs an opening. Poole, the pass to DiVincenzo. White with it. DiVincenzo finds White. He got the whistle on the way up. Line for a pair. It's going to be on Ivica Zubac. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And some changes here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Green. And Peyton is subbed in for Andrew Wiggins. Powell outside. Pass to Highland from deep. 
hits the trifecta. And now just a two-point Warrior lead. Great floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. Pool from long range. Knocks nice. it down from distance. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Here's Highland. Stephen Curry. The end of the whole I don't know if Ali would be able to play through the fourth quarter. I mean, I have no idea, honestly. No, I get to close the game, actually. Well, wow. in for the Warriors, Andrew Wiggins comes in for Poole. Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. George comes in for Highland. Pumley is screen on Thompson. Pass to Leonard. Over Green. Shot by Leonard, no good. And the Warriors with possession. 17 points was there. By four. 43 seconds left in the fourth. So for the Clippers, Batum comes in for Powell, and it's Westbrook in for Man on the floor for the Clippers. Hey, great game. pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. Pumley is screen on Curry. Leonard against Wiggins. Leonard can't get it to go. And so they hit him. MVP. 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 Without the height, the vertical, it all comes down to high basketball IQ and skill. At this point, it just feels like it's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. No moment is ever too big for Paul. What a stint to the free throw line. And so both free throws good. And it's a seven point game. And the Clippers. Seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what's your take? And time's running short. They just couldn't get over that hump. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. Don't worry about executing the next play. Here's DiVincenzo. Down low. And there's White. That's good on the assist by DiVincenzo. Sees his man. Threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. And George launches it from deep. And so the Warriors take the win. A clean win. And one where they clearly show better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. Good game. Unfortunately, because of the turnovers, I wasn't able to... Oh, I have to get the... I have to... I have to literally... Wow. Today, Greg, it's about the NBA, but tomorrow, I have to get the A minus. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. It's not like optional. Oh, wow. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> that's horrible. Oh, we better get that A minus. I don't think he's doing this stuff. Yeah. Just don't turn the ball over. Turnovers are what got me. Looking at who they've got. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. Russell Westbrook out there with Paul George. And it's Powell in at the three. Poole, the pass to White. And it's Paul George with the foul. That's his first foul. And the Warriors with some changes. Kavon Looney comes in for Jermichael Green. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Thompson. Poole with no one around. And the three off target. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Wiggins against George. It's Covington on the wing. 
and that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. For the Clippers organization, GA, what do you think the goal is? Well, it, it's clear to me, Kevin. Clippers foul. Robert have never made it there. And I think a trip to the finals is right. Another free throw. Just need to stay healthy. Jonathan Kaminga. He's checked in for Wiggins. Mann's checked in for the Clippers. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Zubats against White. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Highland. The Clippers need to get off a shot. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Warriors leading by three. Poole, the pass to White. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Powell for three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Look at the last game for the Golden State Warriors. It was a win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Right down low, working on Zubats. And there's the whistle, three second violation. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. You see just how much those turnovers just produce my score. I mean, I've got to be careful about that because I can't like afford to get that many turnovers if I want to get the A minus. So that's tough. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Warriors have gone seven of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Right side, White. Plays it up and banks it in. White's got five now. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Now Powell. And there's the pass to Highland. This one for three. Not going to go that time. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> For the Warriors, White is checked in for Draymond Green. Wiggins comes in for Peyton. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Norman Powell comes in for Kawhi Leonard. So with Leonard on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. The post pairing, Batum and Zubats. Paul George is out there with Russell Westbrook, and it's Powell in at the three slot. The feed to Westbrook. Warriors with the rebound. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Clippers team. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. And that one's good. Wiggins. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Westbrook finds George. Over Thompson. The shot by George, no good. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Wiggins left side. And another three nice. for Golden State. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Westbrook dishes to Powell. George against Thompson. Green by Zubox. And again, no good by the Clippers. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. They and one. Just as he gets it off. Michael. Green. Defensive foul. He beats out Zubox. In for the Warriors. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Clay Thompson. And that one misses. Here's Highland, guarded by Poole. Man passes to Highland. Shoots over Poole. Highland misses. 
boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. Rule no good. Wow. Clippers trail by 15. Three second difference between shot clock and game. Here's man. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Highland. Guarded by Poole. Highland passes to Powell. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. And the Clippers, 29. And when a team is this in sync. Now moving on to the game at hand, some thanks for spending halftime. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Clay Thompson has been sensational. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. We'll see Wiggins and Green play in the wow. forward spots. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Clay Thompson. And it's White in at the center filling out the middle. That's the Warriors' five. Well, in spite of the yeah. and the able injury, to just somehow get this matchup on Batum, yeah, yeah. instead of Plumlee. But when you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Here's Leonard. That one a little long. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. And, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. Westbrook kicks to Leonard. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Warriors with the rebound. White's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. DiVincenzo passes to White. That's no good, but just his first miss in five shots. Batum dishes to Leonard. And it's White with the rebound. White's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last I do game. have the A minus, so that's good. Performance on the that's really pretty much all that matters at this point. Has been off the chart. Antony's a very efficient five for six on the game. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Batum sets a screen for George. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Out of halftime, not the way you want to execute. Just one of five from the field. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's foul number two for him. And the Warriors. So for the Clippers right now, the wing pairing, George and Leonard. Batum is out there with Plumlee, and it's Westbrook in at the one spot. The shot by George, no good. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Y'all know the rules, right? You keep the ball inside the lines. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Batuma screen on Thompson. Short. Here's Plumley. And it's oh my! What? George against Wiggins. Thompson a screen on George. Wiggins against George. Here's White. Good for another oh, bucket. Oh, then go White. Now 
goes six for eight on the night. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Outside, George. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's been a good game, that's for sure. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Wide a screen on West. Curry outside. Oh, Stephen Curry. For three. Against those five makes. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Westbrook passes to Leonard. He kicks it to Batum. Passes it to Westbrook. Five to shoot. Driving to the oh. basket. And it's sent back by White. Westbrook against Kerr. It's White on the wing. Golden State moving the ball around. And foul on the shot. First personal foul. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach. At the line. The Warriors making a switch here. Cools checked in. They can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. The three from George. And it's White with the rebound. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Cool, the pass to White. Good. And that's 15 points for MP. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Warriors. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Oh, 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 oh. Why? Out of Again, nowhere. Not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19. Oh, the no. Season. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Clay Thompson. And he was getting buckets all night long. Giving oh. the that and credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and see it again. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. And wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Thompson from long range. The Clippers grab the miss. Outside Westbrook. Nice. The Warriors taking the Good game. game. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time. Yo, MP, great game. And great game. We were able to achieve that A you know, objective. Unfortunately, it took one extra game, but I, I had fun, so I really can't complain about anything, you know? From the perspective that, like, I'm not playing this to achieve anything, I'm just playing this to have fun, so. I feel quite good about that. Congratulations. You guys played really well tonight. What was your mindset before the game? <laughs> Thanks, Candice. Yeah, you know, we're really happy right now. Um, we had a couple mental lapses. And, uh, that's dangerous because in the NBA, a team can come back from 20 points in just a few minutes. But we managed to close it out. I mean, how important has your rebounding been? I mean, you had another big night on the glass. Yeah, you know, that's been a point of emphasis from coach, along with limiting our turnovers. 
you know, those two things equal more possessions and more shot attempts, you know. Then when we get our turnovers, you know, we're taking more shot attempts and, um, you know, the, the, the scales are tipping in our favor at that point. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Or in the home stretch, you give me two more games like you've been giving me, we'll get you back in the starting lineup in no time. Oh, man, I've never been so thankful for the numbers, guys. I mean, this teammate great thing is really working out. Yeah, and you should be thankful to Freddie, too. Mm -hmm. Did you hear his segment on the flex? Oh, yeah, he went the bat for me. You've given him every reason no to. No cap. I keep hearing that. No cap. Well, all right, so cap basically means you're lying. So no cap means you're telling the truth. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I can dig it. <laughs> I mean, if you say so. All right, look, either way, you've given yourself an ironclad case for getting back to the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. Just keep it up for two more games, and you'll be right back where you belong. Yeah, I appreciate you, Coach G. Like, you've always kept the line of communications open for me. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> no cap. Oh, you forced that one, but the meaning was right, but you forced it. It's like a five out of ten. Oh, come on, that's at least a six. Mm, five and a half. All right, I'll take it. Hey, now we need to sign on with a major beverage company and we're good. That's pretty crazy. So, so looking at our options, we got Gatorade, Mountain Dew. We're increasing our NBA level, so that's quite good. Um, so that's where I'll go ahead actually and end the video there for this week. I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's a great thing. It helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.